Are there signs of cancer? This is Kim. Here to do your reading. 11.44 when I started PM, when I started this. That's interesting. Let's see. Opening up to your spirit team, your spirit guides, your angels, our angels. I should always say our angels, actually. Let's, um, you know what? Let's get some Palo Santo lit and kind of clear this energy that we have from the other readings. <clears throat> I do have private readings available, and they are, range from prices $22 to $60. That is in the description box below how you can get one if you want one if you would please hit the like button and subscribe for me that helps the channel out so much and i'd love to see and read for your beautiful energy here through that connection too that we make all right cancer oh your reading was so nice last time it was so nice <clears throat> Messages you have for cancer. This has been coming out for everybody. Silver, the void. Whew. Clearing the mind. Clear the mind. Get into the void state if you can. Go into the void. Don't be afraid of the void. There's something about it. Did, Divine Detour popping up for you. Silver card. I, I mean, you have to dust it off. You have to dust it off. And when you dust it off, it shines. There's something that has to be dusted off <laughs> of us. Maybe energetically or something that we polish that looks really great when it's polished chaos. What in the world? What in the world? Confusion. Autumn. Autumn. And there's nine pentacles here, or nine golden balls. Usually talks about harvest, so there is something regarding what you're wanting to complete, what you're wanting to harvest. So that dusting off, oh wow, and the dusting off, uh, it has something to do with the sulfur energy of healing, but also moving something up and out of your system. The raven's head uh, has everything to do with your life purpose and uh, like the, uh, the great work begins is what the raven's head is about. The great work begins. Hmm. So clear your mind, especially if this feels like it's a chaotic time right now. This is not a love reading. <laughs> this is not a love reading. This is, well, energy of love is everywhere. I should say that. But this feels like you're moving something out of your life, out of your either existence, <laughs> or out of your blood, out of your body. Sulfur, cleaning something up, detoxifying something. And there's some confusion or there's chaotic energy around. Okay, um, Spirit, tell me what chaos is here about. Eyeglasses, a need to assess a situation or look closer about the awareness. It's about awareness. Evaluate options. Review. Check for details. Focus the fine print. Something that's not clear. You have to look into it more. Okay, why do we have autumn? What is autumn here for? What is the autumn card here for? Kind of the colors match too. Fishing pole is about self-reliance. OK, 
Okay, so for some of you all, it is it is about um, having the resources. The Nine of Pentacle energy is coming out a lot in, with this as far as being like independent, self-sufficient, accomplishment, self-improvement, capable, capable. Mentoring others could be part of this uh, Raven's Head, but we'll get to that. I'm going to pull another card. I want to pull something for silver. You know what silver is about? Fish hook. Okay, but it's... It's, it's actually coming out. It's a, it, you'd be coming out. Oh, everything's lining up. 789. 789. When you have ascending numbers, uh, that was literally the angel saying something is lining up. There's something that had you feeling like you were um, on a hook or, or like something was trying to reel you in, right? And, and you're coming out of that. So it could have been a feeling of like a powerlessness for a brief moment. Uh, but you're coming out of that. And, and I think it, with this fish, you're definitely about to embrace some kind of luck or prosperity and find more resources. What needs to be moved up or out? What is this about sulfur? You, just you, period. Pioneering something. Pioneering something. Boldness, destination, or bust, the cutting edge. Sulfur, unflappable courage, up and out of there. It's about like you <laughs> specifically, you being up and out of there, uh, coming out, maybe coming out of a contract or something like that, too, or ending a contract, deciding there's some type of divine divergence. Tell me about the void. Oh, okay. Sexual fulfillment, intimacy, sensual pleasure, love affair, sleep, contentment, leisure, sleep on it, astral travel, call it a day. <laughs> um, okay. Either that area is like lacking in our lives or we need to clear our head from thinking so much about that, I guess. I don't know. Two, two. Okay, I said this wasn't a love reading, didn't I? I mean, it could be about not using sex to fill a void. Um, but I, okay, so let's just move, let's move on, let's move on. Flamingos, soulmates, lovers, union, courtship, dating, attraction, seduce, long-term potential, display of affection, charming, alluring, it factor. What else about the void? Airplane. Travel, long distance, speed, overcome, rise up, freedom, breaking free, things work out, taking off, leave it behind, and listening to your internal guide system. What's 10? Alternate route. Again, with the energy of uh, wanting to break free, youth mutable so being uh, this is very similar to the 10 card because both are about being kind of adaptable and flexible also says finding self receptive breaking free and dice and i have two 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 six six so yeah clearing the thoughts is really important and keeping them centered and balanced two 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 and then six six seven eight nine Dice is about taking a chance, a risk, a gamble. And then we have this raven's head. Wait a minute. Let's do one for that. Raven's head. Purpose. The roadblock. Block change. Time to regroup. Temporary step back. Take a detour. Okay, give me another one. Oh, okay. Yacht. 
adventure, affluence, luxury, mobility, travel, great ease, smooth sailing, sophisticated with the wind, prosperity, comfort, wealth, sophisticated, over the top, the, um, the yacht. So it's like after this, uh, well, with this divine detour or getting or, or around this roadblock, through this confusion, we will have uh, lots of good stuff. Actually, lots of good stuff. What else? Tell me about the um, chaos and the eyeglasses. Message of concern in the reverse. Distant horizons. Privileged lady. Mm -hmm. Receiving what you know you deserve or what you know you want. Unexpected income. What's the message going to be about? Change. There's something to move up and out of our lives, though. To usher in change. Could be about this union. Uh, wealthy man, mature man. Tied to the unexpected income. <clears throat> Wealthy man, mature man. Is there another energy that feels like it's um, connected to something to do with uh, how you receive money? And um, so there's maybe a need for this more independent, self-reliant energy from this, possibly. And then this might be a new character here too, this wealthy man. That, this could be a woman, by the way, if you're, because you could be a man watching this and feel like, you know, hey, what about me? Like, right. So take it as it fits. Stars. The stars are aligned for some sort of, um, what I'm, what I've been noticing with the stars is, you know how, uh, when you're, like on a yacht <laughs> or on the ocean you're you chart your course um or they they were guided by the stars you know they they knew what direction they were going in by the stars there's something about that about the alignment <clears throat> this is also getting recognition fame for some with stars and the hope there's another anchor there's another anchor. There's stability here. There's hope. Something good. During a time of possibly some worry or concern with the woke part. The hope is a physical manifestation here on earth. And they're saying not, not, not to lose the faith your spirit of hope and faith and knowing that what's coming for you is um there's a divine purpose divine plan to it and not to lose the faith at this time the fox because you're clever you're resourceful you'll figure something out the book not only do we have maybe self-improvement and change but Something about secrets or holding a secret. And then the letter. Communication and a gift on the bottom of the deck. <sighs> All right. So. get a tarot card for you. It's this one. Four of Pentacles, but I feel like it's wanting to say it, it to uh, bust free from 
withholding anything from yourself at this time. Like, break down the walls, the boundaries. It doesn't have to happen like a certain way or specific way. What's this one? King of Swords. Princess of Swords. The Empress. The Four of Wands. And the Six of Wands. And the Reverse, which... <sighs> The thing that you're moving up and out of your life, it has to do with receiving more respect. It has to do, or receiving more appreciation. Um, meeting long-term goals. What is the fight for? You know what I mean? It's analyzing that. And then the King of Swords was a very um, smart, intellectual person. Disciplinary. Meaning, I don't know, just very much so, like, it, there's a certain way rules are. Could be a father figure for some. Just a very disciplined, because I'm being disciplinary, like a very disciplinary type of person. Or, or, I mean, this could be a professional to help you out in this situation. Like, if you've got something going on where you might need a lawyer or something like that. Um. The Princess of Swords it has something to do with this letter, or this communication. Communication. There's two swords together there. So there's also this message of a big decision, opposing forces, but a big decision for you to make. Um, four, four. You're on the right path, even if it feels chaotic. Um, you must like clear your mind right now, right? With the boy, you must clear your mind because you actually are on the right path to meeting your goals. Maybe whether it feels like it or not. The Four of Wands is a really good card about um, celebration, maybe a marriage or coming together. Um, it's who your allegiance is lying with. Like I said, it's coming together with maybe others working on a common big goal in life it can be a move it can be a house purchase it can be a marriage it can be a graduation it can be a any kind of big celebration like a big milestone met right um and then the empress the lady is that privileged lady that that's the energy i get from it somebody that is um they're very fertile they're uh, they're above all the queens in the tarot so they know how to receive um i take this as somebody that's about ready to create something or birth something to life and there's some kind of news attached to this too there's some type of news attached to what you're bringing to life. And then, like, something to do with rule, structure, how it has to be done. It's being done by the book. Okay, what was the Four of Pentacles here about? The lovers could be about building with a soulmate energy or being at a crossroads where you have to make a decision whether you want to build something with someone not necessarily sure about it the nine of swords is like being in a state of worry that there's nothing you can do about a situation the hangman waiting there is some sort of sacrifice that you make that feels like you're making for your goal or your milestone or what it is you're trying to achieve. I have a new passionate path showing up with Ace of Wands. Another page of swords. That's twice. I would say that there's something big about the connection between your what your body is telling you, what your emotions are telling you about how you feel, and tapping into that moon energy about that. Like, um, because there's, there's something kind of hidden, but it's, it's deep within you about how you feel 
and there's a huge of course there's a huge connection between intuitively how we feel and what our body is telling us especially in the form of like um anxiety worry or because these swords here with the nine of swords they're supposed to be used like this like an extension of yourself um uh, your power over your clarity of mind and and not thinking the worst case scenario or not the worrying about the things that we really can't do anything about or can't change at the moment <clears throat> Spirit, why are you giving me so much with the um, communication or with this princess of sword, page of swords? Why, why is this coming out so much? Because the gift's coming out twice. The gift, the gift. And then the privileged lady again. It's about, I, I mean, for a lot of you all, this is going to be some kind of hidden mystery path here that has to do with a gift that you're about to receive or news of that being treated like the you know person that you should the uh privileged lady and then i have sudden wealth underneath that so i don't know there's something kind of interesting about this um i can honestly say i don't really know where this is leading because i feel like there's a dice a throw a gamble a fate and it's going to be your choice but you have lots of gifts coming your way and you have a lot of celebration if you want it, there's this thing, this roadblock to move up and out of our way. And that's the only thing I see in the cards as far as stopping it. The only, the only thing that could give me problems would be that six of wands in the reverse. Because <clears throat> it's a quick question that comes to my mind of who are you doing this for? Or who are you? What? Who are you fighting this fight for? Where? Or who are you doing? If, if the appreciation or something is not there that you feel like should be there, then like who is it for? Um, and like it's more of a question to go into in the void state with. Talk radio platform spiritual affairs is popping out. Facebook platform spiritual posts and activities. Spiritual teacher priest or priestess. Claire Lance, Claire Smelling. I also have a pendulum reader, scrying, rune casting, dowsing, and psychic medium is popping up also as a message. Now then I'll pull an angel number for you all. 1212. 12. Okay, stay focused. 88, I'm wealthy, and then stay focused, 1212, 12, you are on the cusp of a prosperous, abundant spiritual life, and you'll find numerous opportunities for success and achievement, all of which will bring financial and material abundance into your life, 88, I'm wealthy, 1212, 12, stay focused on your best possible future and remain optimistic throughout the entire journey, your angels are right behind you as you turn your dreams into reality. I am focused. Okay. And then Alpha of Al Alkaline. Alkaline. 24. From the White Light Oracle. These should all be listed in the description box below if you're wanting to know what the cards are. A positive twist of fate and a windfall of good fortune are destined for you. Brightness and hope will alleviate negativity and give you the strength you need to find your way through a time of adversity or challenge. Finally, you will experience peace, love, and deep connection with your true self in the universe. Good things are on their way to you. You receive this card. So that's what I've got. I'm sending you love. Bye.